Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do um, a video on my um, gastric sleeve, my three month post op. Um, I thought that this might help a little peop a little bit of people kind of understand the process better, um, get an understanding of what I have gone through in my process and how I'm feeling three months post-op and um, what I have been through which this is my story and this is my journey because I know everybody is different and everybody deals with things differently and different things happen to different people so this is just me what I have been through um, what I had what hurdles I have came across um, through my journey um, and if you don't mind I'm going to fold a little bit of clothes while I talk to you guys just because I have a lot of clothes to fold and put up but um, I got my gastric sleeve on January 29th of 2019 this year and so the 29th will be three months that I have had my surgery. Um, I am down 43 pounds as of today. And the thing is, is a lot of people get very discouraged on this surgery because pretty much you think that the weight is going to just fly off you know just you're gonna get the surgery and boom the weight's gonna be gone it doesn't work that way it is a process it's time-consuming um, you're gonna have stalls lots of stalls um, that's going to discourage you and then you're gonna think dang did I have this surgery for nothing you know because I've been stuck at this certain weight for a month now and I haven't lost anything and I'm drinking my water I'm drinking my protein I'm eating my protein like I'm doing everything right so why am I not losing weight but it's gonna happen you're gonna go through stalls you're gonna go through a lot of stalls through this process um, I've hit a lot of stalls just in my three months um, and my first stall was I think three weeks after my surgery I was on the same weight for probably a month and I was like oh my gosh am I ever gonna lose weight but see the thing is is you might not see the scale move but you're losing inches and you know if you're losing inches it doesn't show on the scale so you could be losing it just does not show on the scale so um, like me I weigh myself every morning and that is not a good habit to have because it just makes you mad it makes you discouraged it um, makes you think you wish you didn't have the surgery um, but I know a lot of people um, on this surgery, they keep it secret. They don't want their family to know. They don't want their coworkers to know. They don't want their friends to know because um, a lot of people get hate and bad feedback from it. So they keep it a secret because a lot of people say, oh, you're just taking the easy way out. Well, um, a lot of people don't realize that you're not taking the easy way out a lot of people have medical issues that keep them from being able to lose weight um, like me I had thyroid issues and I was stuck on this same weight for years I didn't lose I didn't gain um, I did I don't care what I did I worked out I went on diets I, I could starve myself and I literally would not lose a pound um, I had thyroid I had high blood pressure because of my thyroid because it made me gain weight and I had sleep apnea so all those things combined 
make you gain weight and make you not be able to lose weight. So people do not understand that, that medical issues do cause these problems and that's why a lot of us choose to go through the surgery. Um, now, some of the things that um, during this surgery that I'm gonna tell people beforehand that are thinking about having the surgery. I know a lot of people get scared. They almost back out. They do back out. Um, they don't wanna pay the money. Um, but first off, always check with your insurance because a lot of insurances do cover this surgery, especially if you have 10 care, a lot of them will cover the whole surgery and you do not have to pay a dime. If you have the BMI and you have the medical history to be able to be approved, which of course they, every insurance has, there are certain guidelines that they go through. There are certain things that you have to do to, you know, to be approved. And the doctor's offices usually will call beforehand before you go through this whole six month process to make sure that you're approved. And then when you go through the whole six month process, you do your weigh-ins, you go to the, um, the groups that you have to go to, you go to your visits on any medical history that you have. Um, and then when you finish all that, they will process it through the insurance and then that's when they give you a surgery date. Um, I think the hardest thing about this surgery for me was um, not the weigh-ins, not the doctor's visits. You're going to have lots of doctor visits. Um, it was the liquid diet in the beginning, which with my doctor's office, my insurance, I only had to be on it for a week. I have read on Facebook and other stories, you know, all these groups that a lot of people have had to be on it like two weeks. Some people had to be on it three weeks. And a lot of people, it depends on your weight, what they, um, how much you need to lose and how long you're going to be on the liquid diet. Which for me, my BM, BMI was 37. Um, it was not too high. I didn't really have a lot to lose. Um, I, of course, I was considered obese, overweight, because my BMI was 37, but um, I carried my weight really well, so it was like all over. Um, so I really didn't have, I really don't have a lot to lose like some people do. And um, so my weight comes off a lot slower, but I didn't have to lose any weight because if I lost any weight through my weigh-ins through the six month process I would have been denied because my BMI would have been too low and I wouldn't have been considered obese for the surgery so on my liquid diet and my whole six month process I tried not to lose any weight at all like I did not want to lose weight because I didn't want to be denied so I ate like normal the whole six months um, like I normally did because I knew I wasn't wouldn't gain any weight just because I've been through this process for years where I couldn't gain a pound I couldn't lose a pound you know it was just I was stuck at that certain weight for years um, but the liquid diet is crucial i'm just going to tell you right now it is hard very hard um first off you want to start drinking water plenty of water like cut out the sodas you know don't completely cut them out because i had to go you know when i started my diet like right then cut out my sodas and i had a headache a busting headache the whole week I was on the little liquid diet. Like, I was miserable. I felt awful. I had the worst headache because my caffeine, I just completely cold turkey just stopped drinking it. Um, and I wasn't getting any, like, good food in my system because I was on a liquid diet. Um, 
the liquid diet is so hard because you're so hungry all the time because you're so used to eating whatever you want and then when you're on the liquid diet you can't eat what you want it's broth it is um let's see what i ate on my liquid diet was um a lot of broth i ate cream of mushroom cream of chicken soup but of course i strained it really good so it was just the liquid um and then like you know cream of mushroom is kind of thick so i had to you know put a little bit of water to make it more runny um and everybody's diet's different you know a lot of people don't have a diet a lot of people do have a diet it's just it's weird it depends on the doctor and your insurance but this is my diet that I had to do. Um, broth, jello, pudding, um, popsicles, protein shakes. I was so sick of protein shakes. By the fourth one, I thought I was going to puke every day. I was so sick of protein shakes. I hated them. Even though it was chocolate, they were so gross after, you know, a week of nothing but protein shakes. Um, plenty of water. Um, so I pretty much just ate broth, popsicles, and pudding. Like, that was my food every day. But I made it a point to where I set alarms on my phone every two hours. And I would eat something. You know, like for breakfast, um, I would eat, I would do a protein shake. And then, of course, that was four times a day. So, protein shake, I would do for breakfast. Then, for a snack, I would have, like, a popsicle. And then, for lunch, I would have a protein shake. Then, my other snack, I would have, like, a pudding. Um, and then, for um, supper, I would usually do, like, the broth or, you know, the soup, whatever you can eat, you know, that's pure liquid and then before I went to bed as my snack I would do another protein shake and um, it is gonna run through you protein shakes ran through me I was on the commode all the time um, but I started I could start seeing a difference I started feeling better because I didn't have like all those toxins of like bad food in my system it was actually you know protein and stuff that was going in my body so I was starting to feel kind of you know how you kind of feel lighter you know not so bloated you know you just start feeling like better you know I, I think you all understand what I'm saying you just start feeling a little bit better um but that was the hardest part about this surgery. Um, at the hospital after my surgery, I like I hate ge getting sedated and going under because I think the aftermath is the worst feeling. You know, you're droggy, you're just you don't feel good. And then um, I was only in the hospital for a day, day and a half. You know, I had my surgery, and then the next afternoon I went home because I was doing really good and I didn't have any complications um, but after surgery the next day I could um, eat because you know I did the test I didn't have any leak leakage or anything like that um, and I felt good like you know I'd get up and walk all the time um, which at the hospital at the hospital I was at they wouldn't come in there and get me to walk like I would just undo my wires and stuff and go walk myself because I'm like I'm so bored I have to get up and walk um but I'd walk all the time the whole day and a half I was there I'd get up and walk um because they want you to walk because of the gas which I didn't have much gas um like I wasn't in pain like having the surgery I wasn't in pain I didn't take any pain medication um I was just hungry because I hadn't ate you know like you have you can't eat before you go into surgery from like 12 that the night before so I was hungry um, then they bring me broth and jello oh, it was so gross like like this is the test to see how much you can eat okay 
I couldn't eat much at all. I did like a few bites, but that broth was so gross that I just couldn't eat it at all. And then, of course, um, after surgery, when you go home, they want you to continue walking. Like, I didn't have any pain, which I had gas. You know, I farted all the time. Um, probably for a good month after that. And I pooped all the time. Um, but the first few days when I got home, I did have to take some laxatives to get myself to poop just because my body was adjusting to the different food that I was eating. Um, but after that one time, it was regular. Um, then you get home and that's your test of what you can eat, which of course every doctor has their booklet that they give you which I got a booklet and it told me like the foods I could eat you go through different phases of what you can eat you know for like stage one stage two stage three and um, so I did pretty good on that because you know it was the liquid diet for the first little bit after you get out horrible that was just the worst part about this whole surgery is the liquid diet the foods you just if you're really creative and a cook then you ain't gonna have no problem but I'm not a cook and I'm not creative like I want something simple to stick in my mouth and be done with it um, but um, you got to be careful on overeating because you will puke um, if you overeat it will stay it will stay in your throat and you have no choice but to puke it up because it's there's nowhere for it to go because your stomach is so little now where they cut half of your stomach out that um, it has nowhere for it to digest and go. So um, in order for you to feel better is to puke it up. And I think that has only happened to me three times in the three months is... Um, I puked three times, but the one time I puked was because I had, um, it's when I could start eating eggs and eggs made me sick. Like I just, I couldn't, I don't know if it was the texture or what, but they made me sick. Like I have not ate an egg since then. Um, which a lot of people love eggs because it's your protein. It's easy to eat. It's easy to cook. Um, but I, my stomach just couldn't handle the eggs um and everybody's going to be different you're going to be able to tolerate some foods that you couldn't tolerate you're going to be able to not tolerate some foods that you could um some foods taste different um your taste buds change which there's not really anything that i can think of that has changed for me um at first ranch dressing was kind of well, and I could eat ranch dressing on everything, but it kind of at first was like this tastes funny, you know. Like I don't, mm, I used to love ranch dressing, and now it tastes funny, but now it's fine, you know. Now that I've, as I pro progressed and have gone along, it's it's fine now. I can eat it. I don't eat much of it like I used to, but um, but it doesn't taste bad like it it used to. It tastes good like I remember um but um if anybody is having doubts which I can I can vouch when I um right before my surgery probably like a week before my surgery I was having doubts I was scared I didn't know what to expect and I was like uh should I even have this surgery I'm like you know because I'm not that big but I'm not losing weight, but my insurance pays for it, and it's free, and I'll lose weight, but I'm scared to have the surgery because I don't know what to expect. And then you read all this stuff of people losing their hair. Say hi, Koopy. That's my doggie. I got three doggies. Um, I haven't started losing hair yet. Hopefully, hopefully I don't start losing hair um but if you're scared to have this surgery please don't be scared because it is so worth it 
if you're going to go through that whole six month process of weigh-ins, doctor's appointments, um, the liquid diet, you know, everything, then you've got this. It is not bad at all. Because once you get through that hurdle of maybe the first month after surgery, you're good. You're going to be good. Um, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't, like, you know, I had no complications whatsoever with my surgery. Um, I, I did good with it. Um, like right now I'm down 43, 43, 44 pounds. It's been slow. It has been really slow. Um, I think I'm losing more inches than I am weight. Um, people are just now starting to notice that I'm losing weight, which that was very frustrating at first because I was like, I've lost like 25 pounds and nobody even notices that I've lost weight. Like, what's the deal? Like, 25 pounds to me is a lot. But, um, now that I've like 44 pounds, people are starting to notice that I'm losing weight. Which, to me, I didn't keep it a secret to anybody. Like, I blasted that I've had surgery, you know? I mean, but I've had everybody supportive of me, you know, like, a lot of people have said, well, you don't need the surgery. You're not that big. But, you know, do what makes you happy. So, I had the surgery. But, um, don't be scared to have the surgery. Don't be scared it's going to hurt. Don't be scared you're not going to lose weight. Because, honey, you're going to lose weight. You are. It's not going to go as fast as you want it to. But, you're going to lose weight. I mean, you know, first year, you're going to lose your weight. Um, you're going to have your stalls. You're going to be at the same weight for a month or two at a time. Your, um, it's going to come off. Like, it's going to come off. Um, I don't think I have seen or talked to one person that has not lost any weight whatsoever. Um, I do a lot of walking too. I have three dogs, so I, um, I walk a lot, like, that's literally my exercise. I'm taking them out to use the bathroom several times a day. Um, and I don't just go in the yard. Like, they take me all around my neighborhood. Um, and sometimes I get out and just walk a few miles around my block also. Um, but now at three months, I've noticed I'm getting a lot more energy. Um, I don't poop a lot like I used to when I would eat bad. I don't pee as near as much as I used to. I used to have to pee like every 30 minutes. Now I pee like psh, twice a day. Like, I don't know if it's from the surgery or what, but like these are things I'm noticing since I've had the surgery is I don't pee a lot. I don't poop a lot, but when I do, it's like, um, sorry, TMI, but it's true. Um, I'm getting more energy. The only thing that's so hard is not really protein for me, getting my protein in because I eat a lot of chicken. I eat chicken like every day and, um, like chicken, tuna, cheese, stuff like that. Um, I consider that my protein intake and my water getting my water in. I'm supposed to drink like five bottles of water a day and that is so hard. So hard to get me get that water in. I try every day but it is hard. But now that it's getting summer and warmer I drink water more because it's just hot outside and I, I love the cold water. Um and vitamins. You gotta take your vitamins every day because I notice that if I don't take them I'm more sluggish than I was when I was taking them every day. Plus, they help you with all your vitamins that you need. Um, but if anybody has any questions about this surgery, just because I have been through it, I'm sure if you have any questions, I have some at some point hit that hurdle. Um, cause a lot of people have questions about this surgery and sometimes it's just nice to talk to people that's been through it. Um, instead of strangers or people that you don't want to know your business and know that you're thinking about having the surgery. 
But a lot of people do have questions about this surgery and they want to know all the ins and outs about it and want to know um, what you've been through, if you had any complications, etc., etc. Um, so, um, I mean, of course, I'm only three months post op, but I've been, I've had the surgery, I've been through it. Um, so, if anybody has any questions about it and wants to know anything, Feel free to leave a comment, and I will get back to you yeah. and um, answer you the best I can. Um, but please don't be scared to have the surgery. Don't be scared that something bad's going to happen. Don't be scared that you're not going to lose the weight because, honey, you are. And it is probably one of the best things that I have ever done um, because now I'm I'm feeling more confident and I'm feeling great and the energy and just just everything all in one um it was it was well worth it so um if you have any questions just please feel free to ask i'm an open book i will get back to you um i and i will answer the best that i can to help you out so um anyways that is my post-op three months kind of everything combined of what I have been through with my journey up until now. Um, so, 43, 44 pounds down, and I cannot be happier. And you all have got this too, and you can do it just like I can. And it happens. You will lose the weight. So, any questions, feel free to ask, and I will do another update um, probably in a few months if you guys would like that video. Um, but I hope everybody has an amazing Wednesday and I will see you guys in my next video and don't be scared.